Oh gosh, here we go. Yo shooters, what is going on? It's been a hot minute since I last made a video on YouTube with me in it. Um, quick little thing to say, like, I'm back. At least I hope I'm back. I say I'm back. I gotta stick to that. I'm back. I'm saying I'm back, I'm back. For you guys that don't know, I'm Caden Chesney. I'm a filmmaker here in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, I used to do a lot of car photography and videography, and I still want to do that because it is my passion. Cars are part of my passion, but at the same time, I found this new love for traveling and wanting to inspire other people to go and do, you know, what they put their mind to, and and if and whatever makes you happy, and if that's what and and just to push yourselves to like go and do something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, at the end of the day, like you can do it. Um, so it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. I've been putting this video off for probably, I'd say about two weeks now because I've just been overthinking and I didn't really know what to say. And I was just kind of like going, what the heck am I gonna do? And I was kind of trying to perfect it. Like the background here, like I'll be honest with you, this thing, I swear I've spent literally an hour trying to like shove things around and, and try and like tighten things like this. Oh, oh, well this annoys me. This annoys me, but guess what? Who cares? I'm not, I'm done trying to fix it and make it perfect. Let's just go with how it is, have some fun, make this video, talk a little bit about me and where I'm at, and I hope you guys have been good as well. If anybody's still here from like way back, like three years ago when I was filming with the Evo, um, let me know in the comments below, say what's up. It's been a hot minute. Um, for me, like, I found the new love for the gym. I've invested a bunch of money in camera gear. I sold my cars. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's a, uh, you know, I, I found that I didn't want to work on cars anymore. I kept wanting to put money into camera gear and just continue to grow that and, and have fun with cameras because it was fun for me. I liked documenting stuff and also, and just uh, being creative. And I wanted to let my creative side kind of go. and. When I was filming cars, I kind of felt held back because I didn't have any money to put into cars. So I didn't have, I felt like I didn't have content and then I wanted to vlog, but then I couldn't vlog because I was like, what the heck am I going to film? You know, what am I going to vlog? Like, what am I going to do? And like, if you look back at a year of my life, <laughs> my life was pretty kind of cool. Like, at least for me, like, I, I think my life was the coolest it's ever been. Um, the past year I was working at a company called Sherwood Motor Cars here in Sherwood Park. Um, their new luxury dealership that opened up about, um, I guess, wow, it's almost been two years. So I got hired as a photographer there, got the opportunity to shoot some absolutely insane vehicles and, and got to drive some and just overall get an experience that I always dreamed of, which was experience these cool cars that I never thought I would ever actually like get to even sit in, let alone drive and take photos of. So. It was really cool. I'm really appreciative of that. If any of you guys from Sherwood Motor Cars are watching, I hope y'all shooters are doing good, good, good. It's been a hot minute. I'm gonna come stop by, say what's up soon here. I've just been busy trying to like figure stuff out because um, my last month and month has been kind of like a shock slash wake up call slash I did I do the right thing? What am I gonna do? And now here I am um, sitting down in front of this camera and just making a video. I don't even know about what, but just kind of about me, you know? As you can see here, I have my Zcam E2S6. I wanna do a couple test shoots and make a couple videos for YouTube on this and see what the test footage can come out for that. I've filmed on it a couple times. The footage is insane. This thing, excuse me. This thing's got a 6K sensor, super 35 millimeter sensor, the same one that's in the red Komodo. It's pretty much, I call it the baby red. It, it's newer to the market. It's a pretty dope camera. I love it. It's got the Sigma 18 to 35 mil on it right now. And yeah, overall, I really enjoy it. Haven't used it a whole ton, mainly because the learning curve for this camera is a lot bigger than I originally thought it was. But hey, it is what it is. I also picked up the DJI Ronin RS3 Pro. This thing compared to my Ronin S, it feels like a cheat code. Like genuinely, it feels like a cheat code. One, it can handle holding the Z cam, which is insane. The Ronin S couldn't do that at all, which I thought it could, couldn't. This thing can go on there. 
insane with the raven eye and everything the the auto tracking it's it's insane but yeah no this camera is i mean pff, this gimbal feels like a cheat code with the fpv mode the portrait mode it really makes it all around like it it, it leveled up the the filmmaking game in my opinion for gimbal work like a whole lot um but yeah this is my channel um my goal is to just kind of take you along for the ride of the journey with where my life's gonna go i right now i don't know where it's gonna go my dream is to go and travel the world and make travel videos and go explore and and uh yeah also inspire people to go take that risk and if you're young take that jump and go do something that you've always wanted to do and you know and and push yourself to do it as uncomfortable and as uncomfortable as it may be because um yeah it's sitting here looking back at even the past month and a half has been crazy it's it's been stressful it's been uncomfortable to say the least but i know that being uncomfortable also can lead to a lot of growth and so here i am talking to you guys about it and yeah if you put your mind to something you can do it you know a buddy of mine always said if you believe it you can achieve it and i'll be honest with you that saying is that's a true word man if you believe it and you put the work in and it's not easy but you can you can achieve anything you want so i want to show share with you my progression to getting to this level of well maybe this level well this level and where i want to get to in life and just bring you guys along for the ride because i want to look back one day when i'm 60 years old and go holy crap Caden, you know you, you did it i can watch this all back and and really relive a lot of it i i remember when i first started videoing i was filming on my iphone 6 with brandon um, we went and did a car edit on a Civic. It was legendary. And I remember it was the first video I ever took. And I remember putting in there, was, stay tuned for more because there's, expect more shots. I'm gonna learn new techniques and all this other stuff. And and to see where from that Caden that, you know, had that iPhone 6, that was just kind of filming cars to, as a passion just to, to do it because I like doing it to where I am now is, it's crazy. It's really, it's it's a mind boggling thing to think about the past three years. And if you guys are excited to see more videos in the future from me, myself, the Caden Chesney, <laughs> make sure to drop a like 100%. I wanna, I wanna see who's all liking this stuff. Let's, let's drop a comment down below. Say what's up. If you have been here for a long time, say what's up. It's been a hot minute. I want to see who's been here. If, if you guys aren't here, whatever. If you guys are still here, legendary. And then also, if you are new to here and you are wanting to follow my journey, make sure to drop, um, drop, S smash that subscribe button. And so you can stay tuned for more, you know? Um, but for now, I guess that's really it. I don't know what else to talk about. This is just kind of a short thing of me blabbing and setting the camera up because I didn't know what the heck to talk about. And yeah, peace out shooters.